Last week, you voted on Kid Cudi versus Tyler the Creator, and Kid Cudi beat out Tyler to move on to the top 16. It was a close match over on TikTok, but the YouTube votes pushed Kid Cudi over the edge. This week, we have a smooth matchup between the two seed Kanye West and the seven seed Childish Gambino. So let's start with Kanye, okay? We all know about Kanye West by now. He's one of the most influential artists he has been for the past two decades now, and every time Kanye drops an album, all eyes and ears are on him look at what happened with Donda the last two weeks. Kanye has always dropped albums that are so original, so unique, and he's so forward thinking with his music. Every time he drops an album, music seems to shift a little bit closer toward that sound. His lyricism and production is so far out there, that is why Jay-Z wanted to sign him to his record label. In the last five years only, Kanye has dropped Life of Pablo, Ye, Kids See Ghosts with Kid Cudi, Jesus is King, and now Donda. So even in the last five years, Kanye has done pretty damn well, if you ask me. I know some people have said Kanye has dropped off, but I say not. Obviously, he's not making the same music he did in the mid 2000s, but he's always growing. He's gotten closer to his faith and I respect him for that. He's still an incredible artist that so many other artists want to work with. There's no way around it. Kanye West is a legend. Now let's move on to Childish Gambino, who has had an interesting music career. He has had plenty of mixtapes and his albums Camp and Because the Internet were major hits. In the last five years, he has released two projects and they are Awaken My Love and 31520. Now this 31520 album wasn't really talked about that much. There was very little hype around it, but it is in fact Childish Gambino's fourth studio album. And Awaken My Love was an interesting album for Childish Gambino. It was much different. He had a lot more singing in it. I don't think there was any rapping in it whatsoever. The music was extremely unique, but it was critically received very well. Childish Gambino also released the song This Is America, which was extremely influential and an extremely conscious track for Childish. He's got an aggressive flow. He has a very nice voice. He can rap and sing. He's a very versatile artist and musician. He's a very real artist. He spits nothing but the truth. And you know what? He also throws some humor in there. We all know he was also a comedian and a writer on many shows. So it's not a surprise that he's going to throw a lot of humorous punchlines in his music. He's got a great flow and good penmanship. I think Childish Gambino is a solid all around artist. So I definitely know who I would pick for this matchup, but that's not up to me. As always, that's up to you. Vote right now in the comments for who is currently the better rapper. Voting ends Friday, 8-13. And tell me why you think who is who. I think if Childish Gambino won this matchup, it would honestly be a pretty big upset. So that's all I got for you all today. If you like the video, hit a like and subscribe to the channel if you love music just as much as I do and to stay updated on this tournament. As always, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at EJSpark1. And you know what it is. It's peace, love, I love s'mores. EJ, out.